Do I even need to say <laughs> yes? channel my name is Maylene from Miss Plus Campers and I'm so happy you're here today I am doing the today I am doing the sliding into the school year tag that Ashley Peters and Kaylee Nicole came up with so of course I'm gonna link their channels below so you can see theirs but yeah I'm just gonna be pulling the questions off of Ashley's video right here there you are do you see yourself there you are um, and yeah I actually have my first full day of school tomorrow is that a question no, okay. I have my first full school day tomorrow, so I thought now would be the perfect time to do it. And I'm a first year teacher, so I'm really gonna enjoy looking back on this video. And if y'all are looking at my room right now and thinking, um, update us, <laughs> it'll happen, I promise, I'm so sorry. I will be doing um, a full on classroom tour about a week from now, just because I want to make sure that nothing drastic changes after I post a classroom tour. So I'm gonna wait about a week to do that and my other set of videos are coming but it's almost done, it's like this far from being done. So, that being said, the very first question in the sliding to the school year tag is, what fun things did you do over the summer? And I hate to start it out like this but I didn't do anything fun over the summer, guys. I basically moved and was thinking about my classroom and preparing things for it which, I'm not prepared at all, but yeah, I didn't do anything fun, so oops, <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> uh, the next question says, what grade will you teach and where? So I live in Tennessee, I live in Murfreesboro, and I teach right outside of Murfreesboro, and I'm going to be teaching first grade. It is my first year teaching, and um, I student taught in first grade, so this is the grade that I really wanted, and I got it. The next question says, how many students are you expecting this year? And I actually have my roster right here. So originally it was 20, then it was 19, then it was 20, then it was 21, and then on registration day I lost a couple. So now it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, was that another one? I think I just got an. I'm so confused. I have no idea how many I'm expecting. Because this says 20, but I know I don't have her. I don't know like 20 <laughs> I really like I never expected my roster to change this much and so I'm glad I didn't label anything because I would have had re to redo them like six times because my numbers have gone like this <laughs> so I think I just got a new baby okay I don't know I guess we'll <laughs> find out the next question says and can you get back into your classroom um <laughs> like a month ago <laughs> I actually got into my classroom before we were technically supposed to be here. I mean, I had like the keys and everything, but they were still working on the floors. And I think my principal had said like, if you need to, you can. And then I just came and it was fine. <laughs> so about a month ago, <laughs> maybe I should have done this tag sooner. Um, the next question says, what is your classroom theme this year? And if you have been following me either here or on Instagram, you know my theme is just natural. And I know my name is a little bit misleading because I did originally want a camping theme. They were gonna be my little campers and now we're just going with natural. So I have a lot of just natural wood pieces like at my writing table where I'm sitting. I have this like piece of driftwood. I just, I want it to be, I just want it to feel as much as possible like we're bringing the outdoors in and I'm gonna go pick up a bunch more plants today for the room and yeah so the theme is just natural the next question is what are your classroom rules and this one for me I am really excited about because I actually got this from my mentor teacher who I think she got it from her mentor teacher so it's like this really cool cycle but they had this rule in their classroom and it was if there is a problem, we fix it. If it does not get fixed, something will happen. So that is going to be my classroom rule. I know a lot of people, and I think I've mentioned this before, a lot of people have basic rules like raise your hand before speaking and things like that. But to me, those are more of manners and not like <laughs> classroom rules. So. I really liked the way that my mentor teacher implemented this rule in her classroom and she also taught her kids like if there was a problem to say excuse me I don't like when you 
do this. And I know I've already explained this, but that's what I plan on doing in my room. I wanted to keep it simple, something we could refer back to like this and not have to like, well, look at rule number three, sweetie. You know what I mean? I just, I like it that it's simple and it really worked in the first grade classroom that I student taught in. So that's my rule. <laughs> the next question says, have you created slash bought anything for your room this year? And do I even need to say <laughs> yes? I've pretty much, well, everything in this room I've either created or bought, but yeah, I bought a lot of things for my classroom and I do plan on doing um, like a regrets video. I don't really regret buying anything, but there's definitely some things that I could have gone without and some things that I really, really need now. But I have created a lot of things in here. So one of my favorite things that I've created is my classroom coupons. I really, really love those. I'm using those with Dojo this year and I have them in this, let me just go get it. <laughs> I have my coupons in these case, in this, in this, in these case. I put these, put my classroom coupons that I made for Class Dojo in this case. It is a jewelry box from Michaels and I just like took out a divider and I still need to label it. Yeah, I've put a lot of love into this classroom and I can't wait to meet my kiddos and share it with them. So, yeah. The next question says, Does your school host a back to school night? What does it look like? Well, that's a good question. Um, we do have a meet the teacher night. I think it's the second week of school. It's the, oh, I have it. I wrote it down. When is it? I, don't, I think it's, well, she didn't really say when. I have it written down somewhere. I have no idea what it looks like. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I know I for sure I'm gonna film about it in my experience, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we do. Next question says, what is your goal this year? And this is something I think about just about every single day. Um, I know that I am going to be working so hard on procedures and things like that, but my biggest goal this year is just to build a really, really strong community with these babies because, you know, I know <laughs> looking back on some of my teachers how much they mean to me. And sometimes when I step back and think about like how big of an influence that I'm gonna have on these sweet babies, it just, it's a lot for me. and. You know, this is my first class, so it's that much more important to me. So community is going to be the biggest thing for us this year. And, you know, I, I think it <laughs> I think it through every day, like what our days are going to be like and the memories we're going to make. And I have something I want to <laughs> reference to, but I can't because I haven't shown you what it is yet. But, yeah, just the community and the memories and the love, that's, that's my goal. And the last question says, what is your must have for the first day of school? Our first day of school is kind of crazy. So I have our schedule right here. And the way the first day is gonna look for us is not, it is a lot of things that have to do with the actual school. And we spend very, very little time in our classroom. I have a 20 minute section an hour and then another 20 minutes and in between all of that the rest of that is filled with things that we're doing um, as a team and for the school and so I don't have that many things to do on the first day with my kids but I would say my must-have for the first day of school is my worry plaque and I do have a really fun activity that I want to do but this worry plaque why don't I just bring it over <laughs> This worry plaque is something I'm really, really excited about and someone actually messaged me during a meeting this morning about it and like different things that I could do with it because the company is called the Irish Fairy Door Company. And I saw that because I purchased it off of Amazon, but I had no idea <laughs> that it was actually an Irish company. I thought that was just the name of it, which sounds crazy, but yeah, it's actually an Irish company and she messaged me and she told me how cool it was to see it over here and just how far it has reached and yeah, so I'll go ahead and explain it if you haven't seen it on my channel yet. It says, a fairy's magic changes red to green, gone are your worries, never to be seen. And I want to use this as a first day activity just because I know coming into first grade they are going to be so nervous, there's so much going on. and. I have a kind of like calm down area in my room. 
Somebody gave me an idea to call it the mindful nest, like a bird nest, but mindful nest, mindful nest, or my zen zone, or my calm down area. I don't know what I'm calling it. <laughs> Maybe I should figure it out before tomorrow. Oh well. Um, but I'm gonna be having this posted on the wall. But basically, it fits little kid hands better than uh, adult hands, but you put it on there and you think of your worry. And then whenever the light turns green, the fairies have heard your worry. So I'm excited to use this as a first day tool. And yeah, it's something that I haven't seen anybody else have. And so I'm really excited to see how it goes. But yeah, that's my must have on the first day of school and coffee. <laughs> but I think that goes without saying. I am obviously gonna get this video up in just a few hours. Today is August 7th. Tomorrow is August 8th. It is my first day of school. I am so nervous, but I am so ready and I am so excited to meet those sweet babies. And thank you to everybody who has been so supportive. I got so many messages yesterday um, because yesterday was registration day for me and I got to meet my parents and a lot of my kiddos. And there were so many of you who messaged me on Instagram or commented on here and just sent like happy thoughts and love and just positivity my way and it was really nice to wake up yesterday to all those messages and just knowing that all of you guys care about me so thank you so much for that I really didn't expect so many people to be interested in what I'm doing here in Tennessee but this is my room this is my happy place and I can't wait for all these kiddos to come and I promise, I promise, I promise the next videos are going to come out quick because I'm going to be doing teacher vlogs during the school year and I want to get caught up on my classroom setup in order for me to post those vlogs. So the first day is tomorrow and then I have Thursday and Friday. I think I'm going to combine Wednesday, Thursday, Friday into one video and call it like the first few days of school because I honestly don't know how it's going to go, how busy I'm going to be, um, very, but yeah, so thanks for sticking around guys and I'll talk to you soon. Remember, if you need to reach me, you can comment on here. I am really, really good about getting back to you guys and giving you little hearts because I love you. And I'm also on Instagram at Miss Calls Campers or you can email me at callteacher at gmail.com. Remember, if you need to reach me, you can comment on here. I am really, really good about getting back to you guys and giving you little hearts because I love you. And I'm also on Instagram at Miss Calls Campers, or you can email me at calltheteacher at gmail.com.